Definition. Phrasing syndrome is a postoperative phenomenon following salivary gland surgery and less commonly next decision. Failed producers in trauma that is characterized by gustatory swelling and flaming. History. Frey syndrome was first described by Lucy Frey in 1923 and was termed auricular temporal syndrome. In described swelling and flaming in the preauricular area in response to mastication or salivary stimulus. Fray syndrome. Fray syndrome, sweating on one side of the forehead, face, scalp, and neck that occurs soon after ingestion of food as a result of damage to a nerve that goes to the large saliva gland in the cheek, the parotid gland. The symptoms are usually mild, but more severe cases may require medical treatment. Symptomatology. The symptoms of Frey syndrome can include flashing, sweating, burning, neuralgic, and eating. General symptoms are milk but can result in discomfort as well as socially anxiety and advising. Applications of smirked geographic to diagnosis of Frey syndrome. Patients were considered to have Frey syndrome, it seemed of gustatory sweating and localized skin flashing of the parotid region were present. In four patients were have undergone unilateral parotidemic. Gustatory sweating and facial flaming were present after gustatory stimulation and presence of Frey syndrome Confirmed with minor start test and all patient. Pros and cons. Analysis and meta-analysis of pros and cons of partial superficial parotidemic versus superficial parotidemic for the treatment of begin parotidemic in the plants. Pros. Most of the therapies used are given injection therapy of biotopical application. Thermography is as non-invasive Failed test that provides a quality visual analysis of the continuous capillary response following parotidy surgery. Many techniques I met at completion the incorporation in maintenance of the barrier between the underlying prostaglandic parasympathetic nerve 
and didn't within the transit paractory overline couldn't use. Cunt is a mailing hat and net surgeons who sit the three this disorder. However, it's important for other clinicians to recognize what this unusual symptoms represents. Potential negative social and psychologic implications of this condition can be significant. The treatment consists primarily of surgical removal, however, the appropriate extent remains a subject of debate. Report of a case. Introducing the case of a six-month-old breakfast baby with no relevant medical history, whose parents brought her to hospital due to a repressing breed erythema around the temple within second two minutes and ingesting free period. The erythema result spontaneous within a few minutes the baby does not register the foot and does not show any other symptoms. Conclusion Never performed a parotid biopsy before surgery. Track of minute. The incision should follow the arterial fault very aesthetic. Use the electric stimulator as much possible neural to detect the fascial nerve and it breaches. Hi friends, this is a syndrome related to the food. When person eats something along with the release of saliva in the mouth, sweating on the cheek area near to the ear occurs. Here it occurs on the forehead region. Uh, I gave my lens to eat to him and you can see the sweating on the forehead. Thus, this can easily be diagnosed by giving lemon to the eat and other diagnosis can be made by the iodine and starch test. This is also known as auriculotemporal syndrome or bale darger syndrome and Dupuy syndrome or gustatory sweating. The main cause is the haphazard growth of the nerve fibers as you can see in the diagram. And the treatment is the local application of anticholinergic cream or ointment like scopo, scopolamine and or glycopyrrolate or clonidine. Or the surgical cutting of the fiber is the temporary treatment and giving the botulinum toxin injection is the, helps a lot. Thank you for giving your valuable one minute.